President Obama announced yesterday a group that's supposed to review privacy issues raised by the NSA surveillance programs. He said, quote, we're forming a high level group of outside experts to review our entire intelligence and communications technologies. The group would consider how we can maintain the trust of the people how we can make sure that there is absolutely no abuse in terms of how these surveillance technologies are used. So remember, it's supposed to be an independent group, keyword, independent group of outside experts. Why is President Obama doing this? Well, I mean, the reason it appears at face value is that since there was a national outcry after uh, the stories broke with the NSA surveillance program, this is his way of saying, oh, progressives, don't hate me, don't hate me. American people, don't hate me. I'm totally not like George W. Bush. I'm, I'm in favor of transparency. We'll uh, set up this group to make sure that there's uh, no uh, you know, corruption or problems or abuse in the spying programs. We're going to spy properly. I love that distinction. Like, this is one of those issues where you're either in favor of it or you're against it. Either you're in favor of disregarding the Fourth Amendment and collecting information on millions of Americans, millions of them. Apparently, we are all part of a terror investigation. We are all terror suspects, right? Either you're for it or you're against it. But no, no, a typical Obama move, uh, he pretends to be centrist and progressive while being incredibly right wing. He's like, yeah, no, we'll put, set up a committee to make sure that the spying is not too egregious. Uh, I mean, it's utterly ridiculous, right? So uh, who did President Obama pick to be the head of the group. Which independent expert did he pick? James Clapper. You remember who James Clapper is? Uh, he is the former director of the NSA who lied to Congress uh, and when he was asked the question, quote, is there any type of data at all on millions or hundreds of millions of Americans? He responded, no. Then when he was pressed on it, he said, well, I mean, there are cases that they could inadvertently collect information, but not wittingly. So, of course, we learned that was a flat-out lie. So he came out on TV afterwards and said, no, at the time, it wasn't really a lie, per se. What had happened was the sun was in my eyes or something, and it was the least untruthful thing I could say at the moment. I mean, you want to talk about Orwellian. That is classic Orwellian speak. But this is the guy that's going to head the organization. First of all, just the, putting aside the fact that he lied, the former head of the NSA is going to tell us whether or not the NSA is going too far? Uh, Fox guarding the hen house is what that is. Uh, let's have Tiger Woods head up a committee on staying faithful to your wife. I can go on all day. Uh, let's have uh, these sumo wrestlers give a class on how to lose weight. Stalin is going to give a class on small government. I mean, uh, every single one of those analogies is exactly what's going on here. And this is, I mean, the biggest joke in the world. How President Obama couldn't put two and two together and realize that this is the worst person to head this group is beyond me. Even from a political perspective, I don't pretend like he would understand from an actual policy perspective that this is egregious because, I mean, he's still in favor of the NSA spying programs, but even from a, a pure optics perspective, to be that politically unsavvy, to put the worst person you could possibly imagine in favor of the group, man, uh, Obama has disappointed in many ways.